good morning all uh, happy diwali advanced happy diwali wishes to all viewers wish you safe healthy happy diwali to all and uh, in this uh, diwali occasion i just wanted to do a short video on important article which has to be known by each and every physiotherapist healthcare professionals especially the article which i have read through recently on pt journal apta american physical therapy association the article written by jp canario et al pt peter sal or salivan and lorimer mostly a group of team of physiotherapist from australia has designed this perspective research article the article which shows fear to safety a road map to recovery from musculoskeletal pain this is the article's main thing and what it shows main abstract of this article is uh, all the musculoskeletal pain especially they are giving an example for the low back chronic pain leads to disability so what are all the important factors which patients will have they will have after 3 uh, months only this is a chronic back pain so after 3 months to years together if the person is having a pain definitely they will have uh, emotional problems behavioral problems physical problems and uh, how to change them in multi dimensional way so that is very important so they have to get rid from the fear to safety so they we have to change them emotionally we have to change them behaviorally we have to change them physically so what is here road map to recovery so what recovery which says here recovery is defined in this article as an achievement of control over the pain so how they are controlling the pain as well as improvement in their functional capacity and quality of life well being so how they are controlling the pain that is very important because they could not able to control uncontrollable pain because of the fear uh, anxiety stress and other emotional and behavioral disturbances past experiences all those things which causes uh, the avoidance so how to promote it how to make them control how to get confidence in the movements so by this way we can uh, train Uh, this article which shows the perspective that's what two uh, important legends who uh, clubbed together one is pain neuroscience education and another is cognitive functional therapy what it denotes it promotes a safety learning so safety learning here implicates so common sense model fear avoidance model is an important thing which can be implemented here so for example if you can uh, see the patient you just uh, ask them interview them examine them physically and examine their uh, emotional their behavioral modifications because of the pain why they are avoiding why they are uh, uh, keep on uh, uh, in sitting in the house itself not participating socially not going for the work work absenteeism all those things which can be screened there are uh, different types of uh, back pain screening oribro short term questionnaire or a start back screening tool by this questionnaire we can uh, check pre and uh, after post uh, uh, the pain neuroscience education and cognitive functional therapy how they have been changed to safety learning how they changed emotionally behaviorally how they changed functionally i wanted to tell you a best example a patient with a chronic back pain uh years together who came to my clinic the same based article which uh, which is eye opening for me to give a wonderful cognitive physical therapy and pain uh, neuroscience education to that particular uh, uh, patient and change them change the behavioral modification give them confidence to do the movement uh, she is basically a teacher and uh, she is having a compliance of years together she had uh, she used to take a class she used to sit for a long time for 
paper evaluation and correction and other things had a pain once she get up or once she completed the class she had a severe pain catch over the back years together uh, you have to underline this and even cleaning the dishes at that time for a long time working in the kitchen sweeping mopping she had a pain so how to get rid so but she used to tell i had taken mri i had taken physiotherapy massage ayurveda all the treatments so interviewing her assessing her assessing during the assessment what you find you just ask her to walk ask her to stand ask her to bend in that you can able to be noted she is having a avoidance of the movement to compensate it she bends or she just side flex and do the forward bending she is not doing straightly so she is having a protective guarding of the spine and abdomen so you have to educate this won't hurt or harm your back your uh, because she has been already branded with a wrong uh, communications uh, information from mri l4 l5 disc pathology which causes your disc will be damaged so don't do that don't do forward you put a belt you don't bend you don't wash all those things which is a wrong information which causes the threat to the lady so the threat which gives the negative effect for the brain so it leads to a catastrophizing a severe pain will come past experience she had so some sort of a hurt harm will be there she avoids the movement so we have to teach them it is safe while bending so bending will not damage your disc you can do it and you relax your spine take a deep breath and relax the spine and gradually bend and try to bend half way and do and stand relax your uh, spine and take classes sitting relax your spine relax sitting and correct the paper these are all the common uh, strategies by safety learning method and fear avoidance model is a important model which has which i just wanted to post down in this i'll try to put a link on this also so fear avoidance model a narcissism from the brain so not doing any movement because while bending the pain will cause us a threat to the brain oh something will damage our spine so what will happens they will completely give a negative effect fear lack of uh, pain control so avoidance which leads to disability and a negative effect so how to correct it by giving a motivational interview and exercise program physical activity explain the valid life goals positive effect and optimism teach them and change the behavior first initially if you are giving a teaching so uh, train them if they have does not having a pain after taking a breath uh, able to uh, do it very uh, classically so they they will have a confidence with the therapeutic relationship because they are taken elsewhere the treatment so according to the approach the controllability of the pain will occurs this is the road of the pathway to recovery so stress anxiety emotional changes fearness all the things will be reduced so i think this information uh, is important information and uh, i think this training needed to be given in the schooling of physiotherapy itself bio psycho social model so clubbing up this co- cognitive functional therapy and pne pain neuros science education as a subject syllabus in the curriculum and make them train in that way uh, we can prevent the disability so go through this wonderful article from uh, apto journal and get benefited thank you for uh, doing this presentation and if you are uh, interested really in this i wanted to educate many of them and try to get opinion from me also have, because this is a time consuming work and we cannot complete as such like other treatments passive modes of biomedical model approach like coming and giving ift 
teaching exercises, not like that. You have to take an interview, you have to check the patient, you have to check emotionally, screen them with a questionnaire, then do the treatment for 12 weeks of sessions, 3 months, 6 to 8 sessions. If needed, additional booster sessions will be needed. And thank you, and thank you one and all for watching this. And I wanted to thank here one of my best schoolmate, Jayaprakash, is a bank officer who presented this uh, camera stand to me. Take this in the way which gives the clarity to video to all the YouTube subscribers. Thank you.